All right. <clears throat> shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Al Shai Wachakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and Wachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do rule and teach on the scriptures. And so they all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I'm uh, going to do, you know, going to do a sit down for the, uh, you know, the camp session today. Uh, this was um, orders given by Elder Malcolm uh, because out here in Chicago, which I'm sure it's, you know, elsewhere, you know, throughout the, you know, U.S., the uh, temperatures, you know, or, you know, are, are dangerous right now. All right. It's like, you know, zero degrees outside, you know. And then with the wind chill and all that, it's probably like negative 20, whatever, you know, whatever, however it is out there. <clears throat> so he told us to uh, just do sit downs for our camp session. All right. So that's what I'm doing right now. And um, <clears throat> I live uh, kind of far from uh, the brothers uh, who uh, who I camp with on Friday. So I'm not going to be able to link up with them. But um, but yeah, so, you know, um, you know, there's a lot going on in this world, man. All right. There's a lot happening. Okay, um, you had the uh, elder brother Ramakia send some information out uh, last night, and you have um, these uh, Russians. Okay, or let me let me rephrase it. You have NATO. Okay, getting more involved in, in the Ukraine. All right, which that eventually is going to lead to to Russia. All right, you know, defending its territory because they see that as a threat. Okay, remember that they see that as a threat because the Ukraine and Russia, they border each other. All right, remember that. So if they see, you know, NATO moving in, they got to get ready. So basically, hey, as the brother said in the group me, he said, hey, gloves are, uh, are starting to get, you know, they're coming off now. Okay, they're starting to come off. And they're, 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 hey, World War Three is basically here, you know. All right. And uh, let's start off with that. You know what? We'll get that scripture about how the third wall cometh quickly. All right, we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll bring that out. This is uh, I pull out that one in specific. Oh, give me one second. This is in the book of Revelation. This is uh, Revelation eleven and fourteen, and it reads here: the second wall was passed. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And that's what we're seeing right now. The third woe is coming quickly. You know, you're starting to see more and more tensions, all right, you know, throughout the world. All right, they, these empires are uh, setting up troops. You know, they're, they're, they're making their moves. They're, they're you know, uh, they're doing economic warfare, such as, uh, you know, sanctioning. All right, you see, and things are happening right now. All right, but let's get this. This is uh, the book of Matthew, because look, in Matthew's the 24th chapter. One of the signs before Yahweh Shai returns is what? How there's going to be uh, wars and rumors of wars. Okay? Um, right here, verse 6. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 6, and it reads here, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And that's what we see. We see warfare throughout the world. Okay? Little skirmishes. And we're, we're, you know, we're hearing rumors of wars, all right? You know, when, when these great nations threaten each other, that's a rumor of war, okay? When you see them doing uh, um, these military um, exercises, you know, the, them um, uh, uh, testing their, you know, their missiles, their, you know, their, uh, um, their, their, their uh, defense mis uh, missile systems, their offensive missiles, uh, missile systems, all right, what do they call them, uh, uh uh, war drills, that the war games and all that. That's a, a, a rumor of war right there. Okay? So it says here, And ye shall hear of war, wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. War has to come to pass. It has to before the end. All right? Verse 7. For a nation shall rise against nation. And that's actually going into uh, literal race wars, okay? Because when you go into that word nation, I believe it goes into uh, uh, Raza, which is, you know, your actual people. Let me get that. 
Let me see. Uh, just to double check, this is uh, Matthew 24 and 7. Let's look up that word, uh, nation. Ethnos. Okay? And that goes into your actual genealogy. You know, who you are as a person, your family line. So we're going we're gonna to see that, man. We're going to see out here in the streets race riots. You know? All right? That's, that, that's prophetic. Because I'll say, I, I, I like to say this a lot. Look, when things get serious out here, when there's a lack of, uh, of resources, you know, uh, food, water, medical supplies, etc., right? Things turn racial real quick. Real quick. All right? And it's going to happen. And I'm going to keep reading. And kingdom against kingdom. And we're seeing that, all right? Like I said, out there in the Ukraine, things are building up. You know, they those uh, uh, war drums are beating louder and louder. You know, and we we're happy. All right, if, if you're a true follower and believer of Yahweh Hashem Shah, you should be happy that these things are, uh, you know, occurring. Because look, we're getting closer and closer to the end. Our salvation is nearer than what we believe, as the scriptures say. All right, we we're looking for these things. Let's keep reading, and there shall be famines. Pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, which we see, you know, all throughout the world. All these things, all these are the beginning of sorrows. See, these are just the beginning of sorrows. It's only going to get worse out here, you know. We're just in the beginning stages of, ter you know, a terrible times, of perilous times, okay. Really, a, the time of Jacob's trouble. That's right around the corner, you see. All right. You know, hey, but like I said, hey, these evils must happen because look, destruction must occur before, you know, destruction of this kingdom must occur first before our kingdom, the Israelites kingdom, you know, comes about. All right. And this is a uh, second Ezra. I think it's the fourth chapter. Hold on. This is a uh, second Ezra chapter. Four, I'm going to start at 26 main points in uh, 28 and 29. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 4, verse 26, and it reads here, Then answered he me, and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel. For the world hasteneth fast to pass away. And the world that they're talking about is Esau's kingdom, okay? His, his structure is, is passing away fast. All right, it's circling down the drain. You can see it, okay? Hey, the mirth in this place is gone. No one really cares about Christmas. Half these people can't even afford a Christmas present uh, presents right now. They're worried about paying bills. If they can uh, afford the gas bill, all right, the light bill, groceries, etc. That's what they're worried about. They're not worried about, you know, getting little, you know, Johnny and Timmy, all right, the the the, the newest PS5 game, all right. You know, they're not worried about that. Like I said, they're, they're worried about putting food on the table right now. You see? That, that's one sign. We're seeing a, the, these kingdoms starting to, you know, battle it out. That's another sign. All right? So on and so forth. As it, it, uh, the other uh, South Side Mike said, all right, Mike Island out here in Chicago, the, the party uh, party's over for Babylon. Okay? It is. And uh, the other South Side and myself, we talk about it, you know, from time to time. We always mention how out here in Chicago, you have um, two main shopping districts, okay? It's uh, one's on State Street and one's on Michigan Avenue, all right? And in the, uh, you know, the 70s, 80s, 90s, even the early 2000s, if you went on those streets during this time period, you could barely move. You could barely move. But right now, it's a ghost town, okay? You may see a couple people shopping. You know, you got a couple people living in those areas. A lot of them are, uh, well, you know what you see a lot in downtown? Uh, 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 prost you see a, a, a prostitutes, you see uh, uh, drug addicts, homeless, uh, uh, the homeless, okay? You know, little thugs walking around. That's what you see in downtown now. It's not pleasant, okay? And, and, and Chicago's becoming the real Gotham City, man, all right? It's becoming Gotham City for real, you know? Hey, but th th these are signs that, that um, that uh, um, or these are events that must uh, take place before our kingdom comes. This uh, current system has to fall apart. 
Let's keep reading. This is uh, 2 Ezra 4 and 26. Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world ha hasteneth fast to pass away, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world, meaning Esau's world, is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. And we see it, okay? Look at all the uh, 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 unrighteous laws he, you know, passes. Okay? You know, uh, <clears throat> you have all these uh, uh, diseases out here, you know? And pe people are, are sick at an all-time high right now. All right, people are... are, are Constantly, you know, getting fined and, and constantly getting, you know, thrown into jail because of these, you know, uh, uh, um, these laws that are set up. That you, you, you're always signing uh, uh, these uh, contractual agreements to get you messed up. A lot of people don't uh, understand that Esau wants you to sign your name on the dotted line. So then he has you, you know, so that he has you. So you can't run away. Oh, look, you agree. You sign right here. On December 23rd, 2022, right there. You see? That's your signature. We got you. All right? That's what he does. That's how he traps people up. Okay? Let's keep reading. Verse 28. But as concerning the things where uh, thou askest me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away... Then cannot it come that is sown with good. You see, this place has to be utterly destroyed before our kingdom uh, 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 comes into place. All right? These things, this, the, the great destruction must occur. And it will occur because of what? The unrighteousness, the evils, okay, that take place in this uh, uh, wicked world. That's why the scriptures call this place uh, a present evil world. All right? Let's get... um. Second Ezra 15. I'll start at one. Main point is in five and six, though. This is Second Ezra 15 and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And that's what we do as uh, uh, men of Yahweh Shemuel Shah as the prophets. Okay, we uh, uh, speak prophecy. Okay, and look, the majority of the prophecies that are, are going to come to pass. All right. It's nothing but uh, uh, lamentations, mournings, and woes. Death and destruction, that's it. You know, for the most part. We got to go through uh, these perilous times first. All right? A, uh, uh, famines. The lack of money. Being on the, on the run. Persecution. Okay? Being framed. So on and so forth. You know? The thermonuclear destruction. That's what we have to talk about. That's what we have to tell our people. Okay? These things must, uh, uh, they're going to occur and they must occur first before uh, 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 before tranquility, peace, okay? You know, uh, the kingdom of heaven, basically. All right? This is why hey, we're, we're trying to uh, prep our people's minds right now for the times to come, okay? Yes, we do talk about, uh, we're, you know, the kingdom of heaven where we're going to be, you know, uh, in our right minds where we're not going to sin anymore. Okay, we talk about our spirit, you know, the, the, the super, you know, uh, uh, bodies, right? You know, the spiritual bodies that we're going to receive. When we talk about us, you know, having multiple women, you know, uh, mo you know, all these children. Yes, we do talk about these things, but that's not really important right now, so to speak. You know, we got to tell you hey, hey, what's coming. Hey, there's a storm coming, man. Watch out. Wait, we're, we're, we're sounding the trumpet. Look, the enemies are, are, are coming in. You, you see the troops? Hey, brace yourself. That's what we're telling our people. Okay? Good times are going to come after that. But hey, we got to get through a, a, a step A first before we get to step B. Okay? You see? But let's keep going. <clears throat> Second Ezra 15 and 2. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Talking about the prophecies. Okay? Which they are faithful and true. Hey, these things are coming to pass. Verse 3, fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Say, hey, hey, hey we always bring it out, hey, the, uh, the brother Ariala always brings out that scene from, uh, uh, what is that, Rocky, alright, what was it, Draco, I think that's the guy's name, I, I forgot, I can't think of his name, the Russian dude, what do he say, if he dies, he dies, 
That's how we got to think, okay? If these people don't believe, hey, let them die. The hell with them, you know? They, they're, they're a part of the two-thirds club. Or they're a heathen, whatever. They're supposed to die here. Hey, we're, we're, we're focused on uh, uh, the righteous, the elect. That's what we're worried about. Hey, the flock, okay? That, 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 that's our objective, you know? To be concerned with that. Let's keep reading. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. This is why these things are coming. This is why the sword is coming, famine, death, and destruction. Because of the wickedness, okay? Because of the wickedness. Look what's going on in this world. You, you, hey, the, 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 these uh, 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 pedophiles are starting to get rights, okay? Hey, hey, these uh, 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 people who perform bestialities, they're starting to get rights, okay? Uh, 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 hey, being a, you know, a transformer, I'm going to say it like that, that they got more rights than you. Hey, if, you're, if you're a heterosexual couple, right, man and woman, you have a family, you're trying to, you know, raise your child, right? You're, you, you, according to them, you're, you're a threat to a society. You, you got to expose your children to the alphabet community. No, they need to, to watch these things. They, they, they need to learn about it so they can be more accepting. That's what they want to uh, do to, do to uh, your child, man. They want to groom them. That's what they call it. Call it, okay? Grooming. You, you speak out against these things. Now, yeah, you're getting a, a blackball. Your name is getting thrown into the mud. All right? Yeah, you, you might not, uh, according to them, you, not be, uh, uh, you might not be fit to be a, a parent. They might take your child away from you. And say, you know what? Hey, you're a hazard to, to, to this child. You know what? We're going to take him and, and remove him from your household. And we're going to give it to this nice, all right, gay couple here. And what do you think they're going to uh, do to your little son? Or to uh, to, to, to these two uh, 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 lesbians going to do to your daughter? That's all I'm going to say. We, we don't got to get into it. Hey, the reports are out there. Hey, these guys are freaks, man. Freaks. They, they want to do all these evils to your children. All right? Shalom, one, big guy. Let me get this. This is uh, Proverbs 29 and 27. All right? Let's get Proverbs 29 and 27. And it reads here, <clears throat> excuse me, Proverbs 29 and 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright and the way is an abomination to the wicked. Look, basically, it's good against evil. We hate them. The righteous hates the wicked, and the wicked hate the righteous. Simple as that. We cannot coexist together. All right? There is no way we can coexist with evil. We, we uh, All we talk about is righteousness, the law, statutes, and commandments. All right? We talk, we, we talk about charity, helping our, our brothers out, okay? Building a righteous community. Serving the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay? This, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're focused on. These people are worried about um, a, a sex change. Okay? They're worried about, um, you know, robbing each other, killing each other. They're trying to uh, 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 commit adultery with your woman. Your woman's trying to uh, sleep with other men. This, this is what... Hey, this is the evil of this world. This is, this is what's going on in the world, man. So we can't coexist with these people, man. Hey, and look, the Lord, and it was beautiful as the Lord, he's severing us away from Babylon the Great. As time keeps going by, we're getting severed out more and more, and eventually the Lord's going to cut us out completely from this system, and he's going to uh, have us be attached unto him 100%. Okay? That's what's coming. That, and that right there is salvation. All right? That, that's salvation. You know? That is salvation. That's what, hey, hey, these are the things that we're looking for. I don't want to stay in this place personally. I don't know about you all. I hate this place. Let's get this. Uh, Shalom on Big Ak, you know. <laughs> Another beautiful scripture. Hey, this is uh, Psalms 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth uh, mischief by a, a law? And that's like a rhetorical question. Of course not. I mean, we, we can't have a uh, fellowship with these uh, evil individuals. All right? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. And that's what they do. They're trying to take uh, 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 the righteous, you know, uh, down. 
out of His Excellency. I believe that's how it's worded. Okay, they they want to uh, uh, just pull us down and, and drag us, you know, down with them. Their ship is sinking, so they're they're trying to uh, have us, you know, uh, fall too. They don't want us to get on the, uh, you know, those, you know, uh, uh, those what do you call it, those uh, light boats and all that. Okay. To, to, to get on those boats and sail to safety. They don't want us to do that. They want us to fall with them. These people are, are, are demonic as all hell, man. All right? And they got that spirit of, all. Oh, if I can't have it, you can't either. The hell with them, man. You know? You see? The, the hell with them. All right? And this is why we got to continue to, to separate ourselves. Let's get that in uh, uh, 2 Corinthians. All right? This is a uh, Second Corinthians chapter uh, six, and uh, I'll start at I'll start at verse fourteen. The main point is in seventeen, though. This is Second Corinthians fourteen, or sorry, seven and fourteen. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? And look, these are all rhetorical questions. All right. There is no, there is no joining, okay? Two opposites cannot join. Can two walk together unless they be agreed? You see? Verse uh, 15. And what concord hath the anointed with Balao? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. As the Most High Yahweh has said, I will dwell in them. And walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And this is what we need to be doing. We got to uh, separate ourselves from this present evil world. All right? You know? You know, we, 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 we can't you know, be amongst these people like that. Now, of course, take what I'm saying with the grain of salt. Hey, of course, hey, you got to go to work, so be it. Hey, you may need to, you know... Uh, uh, deal with your parents from time to time, so be it. All right, and you may have that, uh, for lack of words, that, that that you know, that cool guy, you know, whatever, that cool neighbor. You may you know chat it up with him for a second. You might even have a beer with him, right? You know, for you know for a few minutes, whatever. Do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? But but um, uh, uh, you know, you you, you can't be uh, attached to these things, man. All right, separate yourself, cause look, your parents are gonna turn on you. Your wife might turn on you, okay? Your children might turn on you. That neighbor that you were cool with for 20, 30 years, yeah, he's the one that's going to rat you out. Try to steal your goods in that time of evil, all right? This is what's coming, man. So the hell with these people, man. If they're not on board with this truth, the hell with them, okay? And get the hell, get the F away from them, okay? Get the F away from them. You know? These, hey, these people want the, the Matrix to continue, man. They want to continue to to, to, to uh, drink some uh, 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 Hennessy, smoke a blunt, while watch the NBA Finals or the NFL you know, uh, 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 Super Bowl. Okay? They want to go to the club and they want to go work their uh, 9 to 5, so to speak. They want to go clock in at the CTA. Bunch of clowns, man. Our people are a bunch of goddamn clowns. Let's keep reading. This is verse 18. And uh, this is, uh, you know, I'll read 17 again. This is 2 Corinthians 7 and 17. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. You see, if we continue to separate ourselves and follow after Yahweh Shem Shai, he will receive us. Okay, and that's what we're fighting for. Okay, that, 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 um, that prize, which consists of, first and foremost, forgiveness. Forgiveness leads to salvation. Salvation leads to um, uh, 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 the transformation. Okay, the transformation leads to the, uh, the glory, the dominion, the power. You see? That's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for uh, the, the, the new heaven and that new earth. Okay? That's what we're fighting for. Us being in, in, in the uh, in the rulership seat, managing things in righteousness, so everything can flourish properly. Cause Esau's got everything all messed up. 
that was something we were talking about amongst the uh, uh, the the bishops today, man. You know, brothers, you know, started you know uh, uh, you know bringing out you know uh, particular photos of them traveling, you know, to you know different you know forest preserves, you know nature sites, you know that 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 they, they, they uh, seen throughout. Up everything, he's messed up everything. Everything's dying under this guy's uh, control. You know what? That's in the book of Isaiah. All right, what is that? The twenty-four chapter. How this world is languishing. You know, everything's all messed up and out of course because of this guy. Hopefully, we're, we're those uh, those chosen vessels to get this world back in order, man. I pray that I'm one of those people. This is Isaiah twenty-four. I'm going to start at uh, verse uh, 3. Isaiah 24 and 3. And it reads here. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled. For the Lord has spoken the, this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. You see, this earth is mourning and it's fading away. And that's because Esau, Edom, okay, the so-called white man is ruling right now. All right, he, he's in rulership, and he's got everything all out, out, out of course. He has no uh, uh, care, you know, uh, for this uh, world. Doesn't care about the people, the animals. All right, the ecosystem. He uses and abuses everything. That's why the scriptures say, "What woe to them who's uh, a king as a child." Esau is that 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 big kid, man, so to speak. And, you know, that 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 kid. That that little brat that that's in uh, uh the the rulership seat, and look what he's done to this world, especially after the uh, uh the uh the, the age of uh the industrial uh, the uh, what is it the industrial revolution came about. That's when this whole earth got completely messed up, man. This guy started dumping uh, all, all the, the the waste in the war uh in the uh, in the lakes and the rivers in the ocean. All right, deforestation started happening at a high rate. They uh, the uh. I'll say this, you know, you, you we have these uh, uh, unlawful creatures that we can't eat, right? Such as the shrimp, all right, the clams, the shellfish, etc., right? This guy overfishes. He, he instead of throwing them back into the ocean, right? This guy, you know, he makes that a delicacy. So now all of a sudden, everybody wants these things. And look, those animals are to uh, to clean, all right, the ocean. That's why everything's all like. It's got that like gunky look to it all the time. You go to Lake Michigan, you can't even put your head in the water and open up your eyes. You open up your eyes, you, you might got you, you probably have an STD now. That's how messed up it is. <laughs> you know, it's terrible, man. It, it, it is really terrible. But see, they, they, the Lord did this for a reason. He wanted us uh, wanted to show us that look, if you rule in wickedness, this is the result of it. This is the result. Nothing but death, chaos, uh, chaos, and confusion. That's it. See, in our society, it's going to be tranquility. It's going to be life. Okay? Order, structure. You see? Let's keep uh, reading. No, I'll get that big eye. Kind of quoted it. Uh, the brother posted it. This is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes. I think it's the 10th chapter. I think he had the... 10th chapter. Hold up. Give me one moment. Just want to double check it. We'll get back to the Isaiah as well. This is Isaiah. Um, and she posted a couple scriptures. Uh, we'll, we'll get this one. Isaiah 14 and 8. And it reads here. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee. And the cedars of Lebanon saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. And this is talking about how the trees, all right, the, the, the wildlife is going to be happy when Esau is gone. Because like I said, Esau... He does a thing called deforestation. He'll just literally wipe out lands uh, uh, and lands, okay, filled with, with trees and natural life just to get particular resources. Doesn't care about the environment, the ecosystem. But hey, well, once he's gone, okay, and out of power, they're going to be rejoicing, okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and 5. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an error which proceeded from the ruler. Exactly. All right, this this, this guy constantly um, doesn't follow the scriptures. Okay, he he does what he wants to do. 
And now you're seeing evils grow throughout the entire world. All right? And why, what, what's the result of this? I said it earlier. Death, chaos, confusion. All right? This is uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 16. Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child, and thy prince is eating in the morning. You see? Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child. Like I said, Esau is that big kid. That little brat that's in the rulership seat. And he, he he's that, that kid that's messing up the house. Throwing the plates on the ground. Breaking them. You know, t taking the uh, the mustard and the, and the ketchup bottle. Spraying it all over the walls. Alright? Trying to set the house on fire. He found, a, you know, a, 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 some matches. Now he's trying to throw it, you know, at the, at the walls. Okay, breaking windows. He's got his baseball bat. He's hitting the windows. That's what Esau's done. That's basically him. That's what he's done to this earth. Looks terrible, man. You know? Um, let's get back to this now. This is Isaiah uh, 24. And uh, we'll start at 4 again. Keep reading. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed its ordinances, Broken the everlasting covenant. So this earth is defiled under the inhabitants, okay, of it. And I, I got to say this. Who is the one in the, uh, 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 in the rulership seat? We all know it's Esau, right? So as it says here in the book of Sirach, right? Let's get Sirach, the, uh, I think it's the 10th chapter. It says here in Sirach 10, we'll start at 1. I think the main point's in 2, though. Yep. Shit, really, hey. One, two, and three. Let's get it. Sirach 10 and 1. A wise judge will instruct his people. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. And that a... This is going into the the, uh, uh, the elect society, so to speak. All right? Hey, first and foremost, of course, starting with Yahweh Shai. This is Yahweh Shai's society right here. Him and the men under him. You know, King David. The, 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 the apostles. Whoever the 144,000 are, they're going to have a well-ordered society, okay? As the judge of the, verse 2, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. In what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So Esau's got these people's minds tainted, man, okay? Completely tainted. And this is why... This whole world is messed up. These people litter. These people destroy. Okay. A, 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 the, you know, the ecosystem. You know, they don't care. All they're worried about is they, if they can, you know, get their next chicken sandwich. All right. Their next blunt. All right. And, um, you know, uh, you know, and find out where the next party's at so they can, you know, fu you know, fuck a bitch in the, uh, in the alley or in the, you know, in their car. That's the spirit on these people, man. Bunch of these damn demons. And that's because Esau, you know, basically gives these people the license to sin. You know? That's what he pretty much does. But see, the Lord, he gives no man license to sin. Okay? Hey, you better follow the rules and regulations. If not, there's a consequence. But see, in this society, there is no consequences, pretty much. You know? There is no consequences, do you? Uh, um, do as thou will, as they, as they say, right? Well, let's keep reading. This is uh, Sirach 10 and 3 now. An unwise king destroyed his people. And see, Esau's got these people destroyed out here. Starting off, off with their mind, all right? And then also even physically too, man. They're, they're completely through. These people are done, man. Okay? All they do is use and abuse their bodies. Shoot up dope, okay? Drink their lives away. You know, uh, take a bunch of Valium. Look at the American society. The majority of these people are a bunch of depressed drug addicts. You know? See, in our society, that ain't happening, man. They, the people are going to be rejoicing. And that's because there's going to be order and structure. Things are going to uh, 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 are going to be... um, uh, They're going to be... Uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it, 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 oh, man. Why can't I think of the word? It's slipping... It's, man, it, 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 damn devil, man. It's Satan. It's all good, but uh, 
it's going to flourish. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Things are going to flourish. All right. See? But it says here, an unwise king destroyed his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. You can see. You know, let me keep reading. Verse 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. You see, this is what's coming very, very soon. Okay? Us in the rulership seat. Esau is going to get kicked, kicked out. Okay? Kicked from the throne. And we're going to uh, take that seat soon. Because he's an unprofitable ruler. This earth needs new management. We say that a lot out here in Chicago. The earth needs new management. And it's evident. You know? It, it, it's evident. It's evident. The earth is in, in the worst Is literally in its worst right now Okay From the people to, to the animals To the ecosystems It's terrible Alright But let's keep reading This is Isaiah chapter 24 And in, uh, in 5 Let's read this again The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof Because they have transgressed the laws Meaning they broke the laws of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay Change the ordinance so so not only did they break the laws of the heavenly father they changed things they said it's okay to you know two men to marry each other and two women to marry each other all right they, they said in certain parts of the world it's okay to you know have uh, some fun with the sheep and a the goat they, they, they got animal brothels out there in Europe right now okay look it up look it up some sick stuff that's going on in this world. Hey, the, the other parts of the world, you got human sacrifice. Uh, it's human sacrificing happening right now, and it's completely legal. You go to one of them weird, like you know, islands, you know, like uh, off Madagascar or Papua New Guinea or whatever. They're doing literally uh, human sacrificing still, Prefer, you know, uh, being cannibals. Stuff is bugged out out here. That's why we need to, uh, hey, be in rulership because these heathens are out of control, man. Let me keep reading. Broken the everlasting covenant. And that everlasting covenant is supposed um, that's between Jacob and Esau, you know, because brothers are supposed to have that bond, you know, they're supposed to protect one another, look out for one another, have charity amongst themselves. But Esau broke that, you know. Yeah, he has what that perpetual hatred for us. He wants to kill us. He wants to take you know uh, our um, our blessing, you know, because he's a, je a jealous, you know, a, a, a jealous, covetous man. And they, they, one that, d that doesn't deal with accountability. Because really, he should be mad at himself. He's the one who sold the birthright. Alright? Is that not in the scriptures? He sold his birthright. And he, uh... And, and he, uh... And, and uh, uh, Isaac gave uh, the blessing to Jacob. So he should be mad at, at his damn self. Okay? But let's keep reading. Let's just, go, let's just get into this uh, Isaiah 24. It's heavy. Therefore, had the curse devoured the earth, and they... That dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. Okay, and that curse can mean multiple things. All right, it's a, 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 a this is multi-layered. Okay, you know we, we could be talking about Esau, because he is that curse. He's the Lord's cursed people, as it says in Isaiah the thirty-four chapter, and he has devoured you know this whole earth, you know, but then it can also be talking about these missiles, the ultimate plague. They like once those missiles touch down, anything that's you know <laughs> that's around is going to be devoured by fire. It's going to gobble it up. That's why the uh, the scriptures uh, in the Book of Revelation call America what the Lake of Fire, because so many missiles are going to hit this place that it's just going to be you know a, a piece of land that's going to just be on fire for a very long time. Okay. You see, let me keep reading. And that's why it says, Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh. And that new wine is talking about this, uh, these philosophies, okay? You know, democracy, feminism, the alphabet community, okay? You know, uh, reversing the roles of men and women. You see? Hey, if you drink of this wine, you're gonna uh, 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 you're gonna mourn, and you're gonna be you know through out here. Hey, look, look at the you know the average man that believes in this you know 
you know, this world. They're out of shape, okay? Their women leave them. And look at the uh, uh, Will Smith, man. You know? All right? That dude was just uh, feminine, and, and his woman was doing all these things. They they were doing getting all into all these freaky orgies. And then his woman did you know, all these things behind his back. And now he's looking like a clown out here. Everyone's, you know, uh, 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 you know, making jokes about him. This is a terrible society that we live in. It's got to be destroyed. Let me keep reading. Verse 8. The mirth of Tabor ceaseth. The noise of them that rejoiceth endeth. And the joy of the harp ceaseth. All right, meaning that mirth is gonna, it's just gone. They shall not drink wine, but they sh a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. And this is talking about physical uh, uh, wine and, you know, and strong drink. Basically, people aren't drinking to have a good time anymore. People are drinking to basically um, run away from their problems. You see? Verse 10, the city of confusion, meaning Babylon, which that is America, is broken down. Every house is shut up, then no man may come in. And this is what's coming. They're martial law. A, the, the downfall of this you know current you know society this is what's happening it's gonna be a, a, a war zone out here you see that's what's coming to America verse 11 there is a crying for wine this is talking about the the wine of uh uh the, the, um, the, this truth okay it says there is a crying for wine or for the truth in the streets and the reason why is because when all hell break loose all right when it breaks loose People are going to be looking for answers. And a lot of people aren't going to have them. Only the men of the Lord are going to have a, uh, the truth. You know, that's it. We are going to be those five wise virgins. For the rest of our people, they're going to be uh, the five foolish virgins. And they're going to be trying to find us in that day. And what are we going to tell them as the scriptures say? Look, if we give us your uh, our uh, uh, salakia, uh, our oil... Right? There's not going to be enough for us. So we can't give it to you. That's what we're going to be telling the five foolish virgins. You know? So let's keep going. It says, the, uh, there is crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. And we're seeing that right now. The mirth is gone. Okay? Hey, the uh, elder Southside, Makaela, and myself, we always talk about, uh, you know, these movies. You know? <laughs> no, the, 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 you know, same, same with the elder crop. There's no, no creativity anymore, okay? Whether you're watching a movie, whether you're, you know, listening to music, everything's recycled. Whether you're playing even video games. The only good games out there are, are so-called franchise games, you know? The Call of Duties, all right? The God of War, so to speak, you know? Uh, the Marios, that's it. Everything else, all this new stuff that comes out, it's weak. It's weak. Then even with these movies, no, no one's going to a, a theater anymore. Elder Malcolm, we just uh, he did a, a quick thing on TikTok. He, he went to go see a movie, and literally he was the only person there. Like, I, I left him a comment. I said, hey, these uh, 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 movie companies are doing so bad. I believe it was AMC, they said this, that they're going to have, um, they're going to allow corporate America to rent out, you know, theaters to uh, do uh, like their business meetings and all that. That's how terrible, all right, uh, uh, America is right now. That's how low it is. These companies are barely staying afloat by doing these particular things, you know? All right, but let me keep uh, reading. It says, uh, verse 12, in the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction when thus... It shall be in the midst of the land among the people. There shall be as the shaking of an olive tree and the gleaning grapes from the vin vintage is done. They shall lift up their voice. They shall sing for the majesty of the Lord. They shall cry aloud from the sea. Wherefore glor glorify ye the Lord Yahweh in the, in the fires. Even the name of the Lord Yahweh of the power of Israel in the isles of the sea. For the uttermost part of the earth have we heard songs, even glory to righteousness? But I said, mm -hmm. my leanness, my leanness, woe unto me. The treacherous, treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously. Yet the treacherous dealers have dealt very treacherously. Fear 
and the pit and the snare are upon thee, O inhabitant of the earth. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake. So basically, when those missiles come, there's no escape in judgment. There's no escape in judgment. All right? If you're here in America, when the, and when those missiles drop, you are going to be devoured. That's it. You, you are going to be devoured. Okay? Now, if you're in other parts of the world, maybe you might be in Australia, you might be in China, you know what I'm saying? Different parts of the world, they, you know, it's, I'll say this, other parts are going to get hit too with the missiles, but, you know, there's still going to be a lot of land that's going to be spared. Okay? But if you're here in America, it, it, it's done. Game over. If you're, if you're in this land. Let's keep reading. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is... The earth is clean, dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. And that's because all these missiles are going to be hitting world, all over worldwide. So it's going to make the earth literally go like this. Alright? Like a drunkard. It says, like a drunkard. It shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. And it shall fall and shall not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day. That the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth upon the uh, upon the earth. So basically, you you uh, in particular you 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 Amalekites, you Rothschilds, Rockefellers, so on and so forth. They they the the they those uh, uh top families of Esau, you're going into slavery. The Lord's going to punish you. You are not escaping judgment. All right, and it says and therefore. Oh, so like it says, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days, they shall be visited. See, you Edomites are going to have a terrible time in the kingdom, man. All right, let's get that. Let's get that in the book of Micah. Let's get that in Micah, the second chapter. This is Micah chapter 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity. And work evil upon their beds. Talking about you uh, Edomites. In specific you Amalekites. Because you have the power. Right? You have the power to enforce. These uh, uh, thoughts and ideologies in your head. When the morning is light. They practice it. Because it, because it is in the power of their hand. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. So they are able to do these things. And they covet fields. And take them by violence. And houses and take them away. And oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. So whatever they like, they take it. They, 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 they'll go into your area. All right. They'll econ uh, uh, economically push you out. And if you're a country, what they'll do is they'll set up, uh, <laughs> you know, these, um, these uh, mercenaries in your land. And start a whole goddamn civil war. Then when the, the so-called there's the so-called civil war in whatever land they're in, then America will say, "Look, you know we need to help you know this country out. All right, they're fighting for democracy. You know there's tyrants in, in rulership, so we're gonna aid. We're gonna aid them. We're gonna send aid. Next thing you know, they're sending troops to a country, and they they just you know uh, took down you know." The you know the uh, the king of that land, and they set up a puppet gov uh, a puppet yeah. um leader. Now the now the major corporations will go on that land and excavate all right, all the natural resources. It could be gold, silver, lithium, okay, oil, whatever it is, they'll take it. That's Esau right there. And this guy, hey, what do you say? Pressing man in his house, even a man in his heritage. That's what they've done to us. They stole our heritage. They're like, well, you know what? We're, 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 we're the Jews. We're the Jews, okay? Not you guys. You're black. You're Puerto Rican. You're Mexican. You're Indian. That's what you are. That's what they told us. <sighs> Verse 3. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, against this family do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, Neither shall ye go heartily, for this time is evil. So 
the Lord's got something, you know, set up and planned for you Edomites, okay? You're going into hardcore slavery. You're not escaping it. You're going to have to, you know, drink of that cup. That tells you, it tells you that in the book of Lamentations. Let's get it. Lamentations, I think, the fifth chapter. Nope, the fourth chapter. It's Lamentations 4. And, uh... Get to the point. 20. This is uh, Lamentations 4, 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. You see? This is what's coming to the nation of Edom. Punishments. That's it. Slavery. Things that we had to deal with as, a, 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 as you know, a, a nation. So they're going to deal with it too. All right? They're going to deal with it too. And they got a lot to, to, to pay for. You know, it's just not us as a people. You know, as the, as the nation of Israel. And they've done the, the, the heathens terribly. They've, um, which by the way, side note, that's our property. So you damaged our property. So we got to get you for that. That's just a little side note. All right, but they they damage uh, the uh, the animals. Animals out here are all messed up, man, because of this guy. Overfished, overhunted. They, their homes are being destroyed because of this guy. The ecosystem's all messed up because of him. You know? This guy literally made paradise into a living hell. Let's give this guy a round of applause, man. Nice round of applause. Thank you, Esau. We appreciate it. Such a good ruler. <laughs> you know? Hey, but hey, these things are, are going to come to pass, man. And it has to. Because this place needs to fall. Alright? We need... We, we need... um, We need righteous rulership. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we need righteous rulership. Okay? This earth needs it. So it can uh, be replenished. Let's get this last scripture here. I think I'm going to end it off with this. This is us. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter. Uh, Start at 6. Go through uh, go through some of this. This is. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6. And, uh, I'll start at 10. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 10, and it reads here. I'm starting at 9. Unto you, this is Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 9. Unto you, therefore, O kings, do I speak, that ye may learn wisdom and not fall away. For they that keep holiness holy shall be judged holy. They that have learned such things shall, be, shall find what to answer. Wherefore, set your affection upon my words. Desire them, and ye shall be instructed. Wisdom is glorious, never fadeth away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her, and found of such as seek her. She prevented them that desire her, in making herself first known unto them. Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors, meaning his mind. Okay? To think therefore upon her is perfection of wisdom, and whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. For she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, showeth herself favorable unto them in the ways, and meeteth them in every thought. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is love. So in order to get wisdom, you have to have discipline. Okay? As a follower and believer, Yahweh Shai, you have to have discipline. You need to learn how to control yourself. Now, are you going to win every time? Of course not. All right? But you have to battle this flesh. All right? The scriptures talk about what? You have to put this flesh into subjection. You need to do these things. All right? Look, there's times where you you, you can't go, uh, go out, so to speak. You got to study. Hey, there's times where you got to handle business. All right? Everything's not play. You know? Hey, there's times where, you know, you, you're going to be put in a situation... Where temptation is going to arise. 
And you have to have that that uh, discipline to control yourself so you don't sin, so you don't mess up. All right? Because you might have a woman that has a man that might come on to you. She might be a you know one of your coworkers. All right? Somebody that you might see at the park or the gym quite frequently. And all of a sudden she's you know she, she she's been seeing you for two months, three months. You know at the at the gym. Now she wants to start talking to you. Then you find out that she has a man, right? And you got to cut that off right then and there. You know, you can't let you know let that um, you know let these things keep you know you know happening so to speak. All right, that's just one example. Let me keep uh, reading. And the care of discipline is love, and love is the keeping of her of her laws, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. So if you Follow, you know, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai in his ways, okay? That's gonna uh lead you to incorruption. And incorruption maketh us near unto the most high. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. That's how we're gonna get the kingdom. Alright? By us desiring wisdom, us wanting wisdom, us practicing wisdom. You see? Because that will make us that profitable um that one that is profitable to rule the earth. You see? Alright. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. See? Gotta honor wisdom so we can get that, that rulership seat. As for wisdom, what she is and how she came up, I will tell you. It will not hide mysteries from you, but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity. And bring the knowledge of her into light. And will not pass over the truth. Neither will I go with consuming envy. For such a man shall have no fellowship with wisdom. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. And a wise king is the upholding of the people. Receive therefore instruction uh, through my words. And it shall do you good. But what did it say there? But the multitude of the wise is the wel welfare of the world. Okay, and that word word uh, welfare goes into um, basically uh, being in a good estate. All right, let me get this. Uh, let me just see what the etymology of it of that word is. Give me one second. This is uh. Give me one second. Sorry about that. Here we go. Welfare. <clears throat> it's an old English word from the 1300s, and it uh, says here, condition of being or doing well. Okay? So the world is going to uh, do well um, when the, uh, the multitude of the wise are in authority. All right? Basically, the elect. Starting first and foremost, of course, with Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. Once Yahweh Shai, and his men are set up to be the rulers, that's when the world is going to be doing uh, uh, good. All right? But in this kingdom, the earth is languishing, and that's because the man of sin is uh, in the power seat right now. You know? He's in the power seat, and this whole earth is messed up. Crops don't grow well. The, uh, these animals aren't in their uh, natural... Uh, Migration patterns. You have, you know, extinct animals and endangered animals or endangered species because of this guy. <laughs> Wasn't happening before that, you know, before his, you know, rulership. And of course, under his authority, everything's all screwed up out here. You know, like I said, give this guy a round of applause for being such a great ruler, you know. But uh, that's pretty much it. You know, like I said uh, earlier when I first started, this is going to be, you know, my... Uh, my camp uh, session for the week because um, Allah Malcolm gave the order to uh, to not uh, 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 camp. All right, today I'm not sure if uh, the brothers are gonna camp tomorrow, um, cause this weather's really bad out here in Chicago. Like I said it's uh, probably like zero degrees right now, maybe a little bit warmer, but with the wind chill, it probably feels like negative twenty. This is where you get frostbite. So the elder said, hey, it's not wise to go out there. That'll be or if a brother did. He said, stay inside, do a lesson, link up, you know, and do what you got to do. So, like I said, this is my uh, camp uh, session for the week. So, hopefully it was an edifying one. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, 
honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakar Kodash. All right. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you.